Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? So, um, if you're into Janis Joplin, then this is the thing for you. Um, hi guys, I um, just started um, a new Let's Play. Uh, this is the first episode. Um, this is based on Momo's economy mod to make the gameplay kind of different. It, it changes a lot of things. It doesn't just reduce um, your income. It really wakes up a lot of uh, the gameplay that was otherwise kind of sleeping. Um, so dormant aspects of the game are now alive. Um, and one of the things that, um, in spite of having pushed one profile all the way to legend level, uh, level 56 um, then uh, I, I guess I haven't really explored the different trucks kind of in terms of their capacities and economy and all of that uh, it's just been kind of what's been cool to drive because you can afford basically anything anyhow um, so what I was gonna do I was talking about this I think in some episodes um, if you've watched the other videos uh, I was planning on doing a review of the different 4x2s, the cheapest ones that you can get for around um, 100,000 euros. And um, I'd somehow missed this one. Um, so I'll, I will do the review. I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, but for now, <laughs> this ended up kind of being my workhorse. Now, if we we'll look a little bit at uh, the profile and stuff. Um, so, uh, what's happening with the Momo's economy mod? Let's just take a quick look at, for example, the quick jobs. Um, I'm already level six on this profile, um, and I'm still not making more than you know three or four thousand euros per trip on a quick job. If we move on to external contracts, we can push that up towards eight. If you're ready to pull a heavy load uh, that of course depends a little on your truck and, and capabilities and stuff um, and um, and that's of course also for a long haul um, so we've got um, what happens is that you don't you don't make a lot of money but you do get this loan of a hundred thousand quite early uh, already pretty much after your first trip and then you can go out and buy your first truck so like I said, we'll get back to kind of more in-depth reviews of each f cheap 4x2 because they they really, you know, come alive with, with the economy mod. Um, and the question is a little bit, kind of which one do you want to put as your fleet and which one do you want as your workhorse? And um, it's not just straightforward to choose which one, um, or at least it hasn't been. So I ended up spending my first... Um, trips, my, f my first kind of levels and skill development, just looking around and discovering the dealers uh, in this profile and um, looking at which one would be my first. So let's just take a quick look at that. Um, you've got, as you start up the Momos uh, with the economy mod, uh, and you, you might want to do that with new profile. You, you can, of course, introduce it to um, a more established profile, but I, I recommend starting up a new one uh, just just because it really wakes up uh, a lot of aspects of the game. Um, so if we look at um, the different trucks, uh, Doff, uh, definitely one of my favorites, uh, particularly after the tuning uh, pack came. Um, also, there's a mod to get the um, uh, as always, you can get the 8x4 also with uh, with the DOF. Um, not so happy. I haven't really yet found, uh, so if anybody has a tip, I, I haven't found a good gearbox for the DOF. Um, you would need kind of to unlock the, uh, the uh, set F16 uh, for the DOFs. Um, I'd love to find a way to do that. Maybe I'll get into modding myself. Anyhow, um, with the cheapest DOF being 120,000 euros, um, that's going to take a long time for you to 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 build up because um, you get the loan of 100, you got about 2,000 euros. Uh, as you start off, you you make like you know a thousand euros per trip, so that's you know 10 to 20 depending on how quickly you 
um, 10 to 20 trips depending on how quickly you level up uh, so so Doff, although I love the truck it really isn't even a candidate for your cheap starting truck um, either for <coughs> sorry for the fleet that you're you're building up or um, as your initial workhorse so sorry Doff, you're not there uh, let's look at Iveco <coughs> now this is something else um, 96,000 euros that's quite a lot less uh, you also have the highway which is the cheapest truck um, and um, uh, no, no, it's, sorry it's the lightest truck in the whole game um, but at 160,000 euros that's really not an option again as your fleet or starting workhorse this Stralis however is um, and I found that if you go into where you buy it you can even let's go uh, the red you can pick white or red uh, red is cheaper sorry red is prettier uh, and it's cheaper than the original paint we can also take off the sun visor and I mean we're really being cheapish now look at that we can get it down to 92,295 I think that is the cheapest truck um, it's not my favorite driving experience uh, you you start off with uh, 310 horsepower um, so um, I don't really want it as my kind of initial workhorse but I think this is definitely our fleet since it's just 92,000 euros let's look at the others just to kind of compare um, and then like I said I'll get back to more in-depth reviews of these trucks and their capabilities as I'll be buying them um, kind of later on in the game the man um, oh yeah okay I won't do this now because um, I've got um, I've got the Madster. This, this is with the Madster um, uh, mod, um, which yeah, I'll I'll get back to reviewing that. But uh, man, if if you take off the um, if you take off again the uh, sun visor and the front mirror we're down to 104 you, you might easily have that um i was under the impression that without madster then um it was even a little cheaper but it's around there it's around 100,000 um so this is a potential candidate again with a th 320 horsepower it's a potential candidate for your initial workhorse um i tried it actually in one of my um tests of the economy mod and I was quite happy with it but again y the need you feel the need to upgrade the engine quickly and with an economy mod we won't really want to do that um, Mercedes has uh, as I was uh, somehow this had escaped me but both of the um, Mercedes's are within range of your first truck um, the old Actros starts off with uh, 320 horsepower, like many. Uh, you, you can potentially, again, take off the sun visor. Um, but I think that, you know, with, with, <laughs> with this, it just, they kind of look like eyebrows. Um, so I'd, I'd keep the, just, just for the heck of it, I would definitely keep the sun visor just because it looks so cool. Uh, 101,000 euros. Um, Let's see you'd want the red also because it just because it's pretty um, so that's definitely a candidate um, then um, yeah this was my big surprise uh, somehow this had escaped me I guess I just didn't consider the new actress as possible even but uh, but look at that it's actually available um, you start off with 421 horsepower uh, I discovered this late enough that I um, I went for the 460. Uh, I even put a retarder on it because I had made up I made some money. Um, you could go to different colors. Uh, here I had to be cheapish and because I wanted the retarder, and also I wanted to upgrade the wheels and I had the money for it. So 
Again, if you take off some of the items, you're down to 103,000 euros for the new Actros as your starting truck, and that comes with a built-in GPS, uh, which you would otherwise want to get, you know, put in, and that's a thousand euros. So, so easily, any other truck, you know, is going to cost about the same if you put in the GPS, uh, except for the Aveco, of course, which is considerably cheaper. Um, Scania, no, sorry, I missed Renault. Uh, Renault is, yep, the Renault Premium. Um, there is no Magnum available <coughs> yet in the game. Um, we're talking 101, uh, so not quite as cheap as the Iveco. Uh, we can take off the sun visor and the front mirror. And then we're just less than a um, hundred, but we uh, won't want to put in a GPS. So, you know, this isn't that far from the Mercedes. Um, and the engine is 380. Okay, so that's that puts it... Actually, that is quite a bit different from the 310 that you get with the vehicle. So this is maybe possibly a little bit more of a candidate as your own workhorse. Um, but again, why would you pay 101,000 instead of 92,000? Uh, almost 10,000 euros difference uh, for your fleet. So I think that we're still keeping Iveco as our fleet. Um, and since you get quite a bit more horsepower, uh, this is 380, my Mercedes has 460. Uh, you get 421 with the first. Um, so I think I think I'm still very happy with the Volvo. No, sorry, with the Mercedes uh, as my workhorse, um, Iveco as fleet. Uh, and even though this is a quick decision, no, I don't want to travel there. Uh, I want to look at the buy online. Volvo. Um, so here again, you have the the classic. You have uh, you also have the new one. Oh yeah, it's not that expensive. Um, I just don't, I'm not so crazy about the Volvos. Um, one thing is the, uh, the mileage is not that well. The thing about the Classic is that you start off with 540 horsepower. So you can pull pretty much anything with that. Um, of course you have uh, the 4x2 chassis, which means that you are a little limited. Um, if you pull just a regular trailer with more than 20 tons, you will feel it in the turns and um, I recommend using a physics mod. Uh, again, I'm using MoMos. Um, so, um, even if you think you can pull anything with it, it's going to be a little bit scary um, if you have too much weight. Um, so, it, it's a cheap one with a lot of horsepower. Um, so, this is potentially your first workhorse. Um, you can do a lot with it. Uh, I'm not so crazy about the mileage. Um, and also just kind of the feel of it. I, I like the feel of it, of the um, Mercedes just a little bit better. You could choose the new Volvo instead. Uh, looks a little bit more badass. You start off with 420 horsepower. I uh, can quickly upgrade to 460 or if you don't you know buy it immediately then you can wait and get it with 460 as your first uh, definitely an option. Again, um, I'm not as crazy about driving this as I am about the, um, the Merc. Um, this comes with a built-in GPS, which is much smaller. Um, so I, I, I just like kind of the inside of the, of the Merc a lot better. But this is definitely, again, a candidate. Although um, at 104, let's see, did I take the uh, sun visor off? Nope. Um, if we take the sun visor off and the mirror, we're down to a hundred thousand. Okay, so this could be um, this could be your first truck already after um, uh, taking the loan and just you know your first trip um, with four hundred and sixty horsepower. That is definitely no four hundred and twenty. Then um, if you um, take it as your first truck. Um, so definitely an option, um, and I think the um, new Volvo has a little better mileage than the first one. 
Uh, I am under the impression, however, that the uh, Mercedes is far better when it comes to mileage. So, um, fleet is most probably going to be the Iveco. Um, and um, I recommend, I mean, you, you can pick any, and if you really want to be uh, saving your money, you, you just pick the Iveco Stralis as your workhorse too. Um, the man, maybe with a little better experience, uh, Renault, more horsepower, uh, then if you want, you know, to be happy with your first workhorse for a little more, uh, you go for the uh, Mercedes or the Volvo, which I have done. So, um, th that was kind of just an introductory on um, which workhorse to choose. Um, and since I've already spent 50 minutes talking about that and going through all the trucks, I will save the um, um, kind of drive um, drive review of the Mercedes for the next episode. Uh, so hang in there, um, check in with me for my next episode if you want to see how the uh, Mercedes, um, my first kind of workhorse in this let's play, just to see how that performs on the road under different conditions. So check in later. Uh, hope you stay tuned. Hope you like my series. Um, please subscribe and like and comment if you have anything um, that you want to say or ask or you know about where this let's play is going. Um, so until then, bye bye. <laughs>